Hi, my name is Melinda and I'm just going to show you how to make a mask in Digital Scrapbook Artist. There are two ways of doing it and um, when you're masking it's basically just taking a photograph, putting it down, taking a piece of paper and cutting out let's say a heart shape. You discard the shape that you cut out and you take the paper with the cut out heart shape, you place it on top of your photograph and then you just move it into place so that whatever image you have underneath comes through the cut out of the heart. That's basically all that masking is. So let's show you how to do it. In order to understand maskings, you're going to have to understand layering. And layering is really not hard. If you're used to Photoshop, this will be a breeze for you. Basically, when you start um, Digital Scrapbook Artist, you want to go to the uh, right-hand side, and you've got this box over here. On the top, we have tabs. We have Effect, Outline, Brushes, and Layers. So click on the Layers tab. Now, as you can see, the background is empty and layer 1 is empty because there's nothing on my blank page, it's just blank. Start by taking your photograph and place it on your screen and make it the size that you want it to make. You'll instantly see that layer 1 now has your photograph and if you just hover over this box, you can get a better view of what's inside of it. It also tells us we have one item in layers 1. Now, as you can see, there's still nothing in background. If you did want to have your background to show something, just go to your background tab and then insert your background. And instantly you'll see that background now has one item selected. And um, if I just close this up, you know, you can see that the bitmap has disappeared. Now, what we need to do is we want to cut out some shapes. And I'm going to cut out some of these shapes. Actually, I'll cut them all out. I want to cut them out of my little... Um, squirrel over here. So it doesn't really matter where you place your picture, but you need to create a mask layer. To do that, go over here and click on the plus sign. And when you do, you'll be on layer number two. What you need to do is move your mouse onto layer number two so it is selected, and I want you to right click on your mouse keys. When you do that, the screen will appear. Click on, with your left mouse button, the word mask. Now layer number two is a mask. If you forget that you've turned this into a mask, just click on the word layer two, so it's deep blue, and then just type in the word mask, and when you click off of your image, you'll remember now that that is your mask layer. So let's begin. I'm going to take this flower and I'm going to place it on top of my squirrel, and if I want to see uh, what the squirrel looks like, all I do is I go back to my mask layer and I click on the lock button. And now my squirrel takes the shape of the mask that I've just created, which was this flower. If I unlock this, you can see that we're just a flower again. If you click on your flower and add, move it outside of your photograph and then lock it, you're going to see that it's going to cut off the photograph. The mask can only mask the photograph. It cannot mask any image that is not there. So always remember, I'm just going to unlock it, make sure your mask is on top of your image. Now that this image is selected, I'm just going to delete it by pressing the delete key on my keyboard. I'm going to take another image because we still have this selected and this is still going to be my mask and I'm just going to place this here. If I now wanted to see what that would look like, I can just rotate it slightly and then lock it into place. And as you can see, my photograph takes the image of the layer that was on top, which was my mask, and that comes through. I'm going to unlock that again and I'm going to take this flower over here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'll just make it a little bit larger, place it on my image, lock it into place and as you can see I've masked the image of the squirrel. Now the problem with this is I can't actually select this and then move it around my screen. This is something you would do if you were working on your layout and you weren't going to move anything around. If, however, you were just beginning your layout, I'm going to show you how to mask the second way. So let me just unlock this again. I'm going to click on the flower so it's selected and I'm pressing delete on my keyboard. This time I'm going to take the butterfly, I'm going to make it a little bit larger, and I'm going to place it here on my image. What I want to do is actually move my image underneath the butterfly so I can see it better. So what I'll do first is I'll lock the butterfly into place because that's still mask one, so if I wasn't sure, I just hold that little uh, box that's here and it gets larger. Let's lock it into place. 
Now I want to move my squirrel image underneath so that I can get the head to go up. But I can't just move it because if I go like this, nothing will happen. The image is locked into place. What I need to do is go to layer 1 because that's my squirrel image. And I'm going to click on the plus sign. Underneath, you're going to see the bitmap. When I click on bitmap, that will release the image. Now I can easily move it up move it down, move it around, but if I wanted to move it while it was still showing the mask, all I need to do is make sure it's highlighted and selected, and then using the arrow keys on my keyboard, I can move the image into place going left, going right, and going down. What I basically want to do is have the antenna in the middle of this cutie's head, and when I'm happy with that, we'll just move it a bit more, when I'm happy with that, I'm going to click off of the image. Now I actually want to cut this out so that I can move the butterfly with the squirrel around. To do that, you need to first unlock the butterfly. Now that the butterfly has been unlocked, I'm going to click on the plus sign to open it up. Now you can see layer 1 is open because the bitmap is showing. The mask is also open because the bitmap is showing. And because this is now unlocked, I can see my butterfly. I'd like you to click on the bitmap of whatever image you've selected, in my case the butterfly, hold down the left mouse button and drag it so it's on top of bitmap in layer number one. Now select layer number one so that is selected and it will tell you that you do have two items in here. Draw an imaginary box around both your photograph and your image item and go to the top of the screen and click on arrange then join, and then intersect. And now the squirrel comes through exactly like I moved him, only this time I can move him all the way around my screen, I can rotate him, I can make him tiny, I can make him large, I can do whatever I want. Next you can add an outline, you can add stitching, anything your heart desires. And that is two ways to make a mask in Digital Scrapbook Artist. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca.